Hi, and welcome to the show. Here's the voyages of three minutes John space. Excuse my cold. <laughs> what the fuck? Somebody's at the door. Good evening, and welcome to Three Minute John. Another news. No bathrooms in space. If you like to travel, but places like Paris or Dubai are not enough for you, now you can travel to space and see the whole world at once. Oh my god. Girl, you have to travel to space. It's like so spacious. Jeff Bezos, a very, 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 very rich fellow, the founder and CEO of Amazon and Blue Origin, the guy that likes to make Elon Musk feel small, very, very rich fellow. He's like five and a quarter Elons. Promises to take traveling to a whole new level. His space tourism vehicle called New Shepard will be able to carry tourists in suborbital space as early as 2018. Oh my god. The trip will take only 40 minutes, of which 11 will be the flight, and only 4 of those will be in actual zero gravity space. It will cost a whole lot, but what I hate about it the most is that once you get in, you have to hold it in. No bathroom. I'm gonna go take a shit. And that's because the small cabin doesn't have enough space to accommodate the toilet, and the passengers won't even have barf bags. Now, I have a small bladder. It came with a package, small penis, small bladder. I can hold the pee for 40 minutes, but when that zero gravity hits... <sighs> This is so great! Oh, 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 oh. They will probably turn to adult diapers. They look okay. Because if you pay a shitload of money to see space, you get to keep your shitload. See the space with Blue Origin and feel like a kid again. A very small kid that grabs his pants. That's a nice picture, actually. All of those rich people with shit in their pants. Floating around in the barf of the guy that couldn't hold it in. Mm mm. 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 Mr. John, how was space like? Uh, it was shitty. Oh my God, you're you're crying. No, no, it's it's my own bar. Oh, it it came okay. on my face. It, yeah, <clears throat> this sucks. A gunsling in space robot. Russia has made a humanoid robot to act as a companion to the astronauts on the International Space Station, which, by the way, has a bathroom. It's called Fedor, and Russian officials posted a video on Twitter to show what it can do. <sighs> wow! I grabbed my pants! Kind of much? I don't know. I make robot. He takes guns. He shoots. Well, that thing will help astronauts like Trump's hands help him masturbate. Wait, actually, small hands are perfect for a small penis. Damn you, regular hands. Anywho, the Russians say they made this experiment to test the robot's dexterity. Well then, why the hell not make Fedor sculpt a glass fish? Or better yet, make him bake a cake. Because for me, separating an egg yolks from the white is impossible. Today we'll be making a vanilla sponge cake. Oh, okay. Today we'll be making a vanilla sponge cake. Uh, okay, mother f Today we'll be making a vanilla sponge cake. Ah, okay, now let uh, f sh f this man. I but that's not all he can do. The more you research about it, the more creepy it gets. If the gunshot won't get you, it can drill holes in the space station so that all humans may perish. Or it can inject you with a virus. And then it can drive into the sunset in his convertible. Fedor is set to go on the International Space Station in 2021, and I wish all the astronauts out there good luck. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? Live car kissing. Mm. Ever since live streaming was launched, I kind of hated it. So much raw, unedited, crappy content was dumped on the internet. It's... Uh, it's horrible. And we've all seen boring and stupid Facebook live stream, but this one takes the cake. Hours and hours of live video with people in Austin, Texas that want to get a free Kia Optima by... kissing it. Just look at those brave men and women. It's so inspiring. That's another task Fedor would be great at. This girl even arranges her hair because you have to look your best when you look like a f***ing idiot. Not everyone is good at it, but this guy, nah, he gets it. Lazy to the bone. 
I bet this isn't his first car kiss off. He's a pro. This guy looks like he's French kissing it. But I don't judge. Once I French kissed a cow. And one girl kisses the tire with the exact same love that my wife kisses me. Huh. And there's the judges that look like SS Nazi officers. Keep the lips on the key. But why stop there? Kissing should be just the first stage. To win it, you should have to make love to it. If you want to get a Kia, all you have to do is f*** it. Please stop making live videos. They look like crap, and if they're live, you can do this. Oh. What the f*** Van Damme? This is the show. Thanks again very much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment below. I'm John. And until next time, keep it safe and secure. Cheers. Yeah. Great job. See you next time.